Hey everyone, it's Pam with FairfieldAfterDark.com and you know what? I haven't done a interview in quite a while and guess what? I'm sitting down with a true guitar rock legend. This is Richard Lloyd and his band, the Richard Lloyd Band, is playing here at the Sea Grape, which is behind me actually, uh, tonight for a show before heading back home to Chattanooga. Yeah, choo-choo. Choo-choos. Chattanooga choo-choo. And he's not feeling all that well tonight, but he's still going to kill it, I'm sure. I'll try. You'll try. Now, Richard Lloyd uh, Everything was... will be an octave down. Oh, no. Well, yeah. don't, tell, don't tell them and they won't know. They'll just think Probably. that it's supposed to be that way. That's right. <laughs> so, Richard Lloyd is well known from the band television, but he also is really known for basically helping to get that infamous nightclub in New York City, the CBGB to where it ended up. I mean, mm. all these amazing bands end up kind of playing there before they were really discovered, before they were really cool, and they really helped to bring the punk rock scene into play. That's true. Would you say that's true? Yeah, because the, the CBGB stands for country, bluegrass, and blues, and we didn't play anything like that. Did they ever so have that there, or did you? They did, but before we showed up. We, the kids kind of ran hilly down and our manager, Terry Ork, uh, really ran the show down there for a couple of years. Wow. And we only booked two bands a night, playing two sets apiece. You know, I actually heard you in an interview, you were kind of the person who brought that kind of style in based on double feature movies. That's right. That's how you got it that was idea. Based on double feature movies. But that works. Where you could stick around. And it also, the headliner, who goes on what? Second and fourth. Right. So the third position is invaluable. Yeah. So you cross-pollinate audiences. Yeah. You know, one of the things I was really excited to talk to you about is here in Fairfield County, we have so many musicians. Too many. S too many, some would say. I mean, I, I kind of agree. Some just did. Some, some, <laughs> I don't know. Some are fantastic. I have been I've only yeah. been here an yeah. hour. <laughs> hey. What so do I know? we do have a lot of musicians. Um, we have, we don't have the clubs, though. And right. I want to know if, if you miss the times when those type of underground clubs really were what was popular, what everyone wanted to go to, the popularity became rumors, which helped to spark more adventure into those places. Right. And we don't seem to have that anymore. In fact... No. Sad. Yeah. Do you think that if somebody tried to resurrect the feeling of the CV... No, TV, you they can't do, do that. You can't do that. You just... You have to start something fresh and new and not think about template of, a, of another place. Yeah. I mean, CBGBs came out of the ground just the way it did because of the desperation of the kids who were playing there. Yeah. We were all pretty much impoverished and uh, living on a shoestring and, you know, so. Yeah. You and built so, it. The people so playing many, built it, basically. Yeah, so many people that came had talent. It was amazing. All original talent. Nobody sounded like each other. I wish that, we could have something like that now. It's like something, now. you know, just from magic. Yeah. Now everybody seems to just sample everybody else. It doesn't seem to be much That's originality right. anymore. Yeah. Or well, an appreciation for it. I don't listen to music it. much anymore. Do you have anyone from today? Any, anybody current that you actually are, are enjoying to? now? Yeah. No. I don't listen to music. So you just play yours? I just play music. <laughs> I mean, I'll listen to music if it's in front of me, but I don't seek it out. Yeah. I'm I'm like a gigantic sponge the size of a kitchen <laughs> that's saturated. Okay. So that if you put another dropper full, it has to leak out the bottom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're you're good. You have I'm, all your favorite really music good. is right I'm up there. I'm really good. That's yeah. right. All right. Well, what about technology and all the advancements that are supposed to be so great for the music industry? Yeah, sometimes Do you think they any are. of it's helped? Maybe a little bit in terms of you don't hear the pops and crackles of a phonograph record anymore. Right. You know, and skips and the thing going... Shah. Yeah. But uh, as far as sound goes, uh, it took a long time for digital to sound good. And then people look at the music because they're seeing sound waves. Yeah. They look at the music instead of listening to it, mm. you know. And yeah. They can do infinite edits and infinite number of tracks, and it's 
all too much. And they put things behind people to make them sound better. And and now everything seems to be popularity on on YouTube or, you know, how many Instagram likes you have. Well, it was always famous something like instead that. Of music. Yeah. Well, I can't imagine uh, Instagram likes yeah. translating into real success. I know. But it's crazy it's, how much influence some of these people end up having. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You know? And again, going back to Fairfield County, there were three clubs that I knew of in Fairfield County that you could still consider styled like a CBGB in, in, right. in, in that they had a lot of unique bands playing, Original real talent, music. yeah, real talent, and they would change it up. They'd be different people at different times. And two of those three are now gone. Yeah. Sadly. That, that's sad. You know, and, things, all things are combustible, as I say. Right. They all pass, either through rust or just general burning down the house. Yeah. Oh, you got some good play on words going on, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know this, but he has a book that he put out, your own memoir, basically. Basically. And it's my, called Everything's Combustible. My inner auto outer biography. Yeah. I wish you had a copy here tonight. Did I, you bring we any? We do have some. Ooh, uh, we I don't might have, have to sneak some. We had, eight, <laughs> we had 80 when it started. We've got eight now. No kidding. People buy them. Uh, of course they do. show, yeah. and I sign them. That's awesome. Happily. Yeah. Well, what else do you think about today's music? Makes I you kind really of nostalgic don't. for yesterday's. You know, the, well, it's like they it merged with Broadway. Oh. Now it's like semi-pornographic dance, you know, with music attached, that's lip synced, yeah. Which was always at the case. The Beatles lip synced. The Rolling. Everybody lip synced back in the day. I didn't television. know that. Oh, on, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, on television, yeah. they'd have a track with only the vocals were live. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. You, you know, know what? Speaking of television, I never got to ask what. How did you come up with the name television? For the uh, Richard Hell came up with it. We asked, you know, we said, let's go, all go home and write out names for bands. And I didn't write down any because I would be rejected. Aww. No, it's true. So <laughs> Richard Hell came in with television with little stars around it on the paper from the typewriter. Oh, my God. And the initials were TV, and Tom had changed his name from Miller to Verlaine. Oh, so it was TV. Oh, okay. It was okay. Tele, television. Plus, it's you don't translate it into Italian or Spanish or Chinese. Yeah. It's television. That's great. Like Sony, you know. I'm glad to know that story, cross, actually. Crosses uh, language barriers. Yeah, that is very cool. All right. Well, every, everyone, again, this is Richard Lloyd. This is just my quick few minutes before he heads over to the Sea Grape, which hopefully will become one of those little clubs that we're talking about. Well, Maybe Steve we'll is get... hoping, and yeah. he's working hard. And Steve so we'll see. loves that style of club himself, and uh, I think he's going to really make an attempt, and I think we should all support that here in Fairfield County and try to see some well, really I'd great Well, I'd love to see music. something come out of it. Me too. And, you know, that's why you're here tonight. Mm -hmm. We're going to kick it off. Yeah. So thank you for talking with me. Oh, you're most welcome. And I, I know you're going to kill it. I'm going to capture a, a few. Kill it. Well, you're gonna kill it. well, you're going to get that tea in you and feel a little yeah. better. And then you'll kill it. Yeah, I'll kill it. Thanks for talking to me. Uh, whatever it is, I'll, <laughs> I'll kill it. Okay. Thanks, everyone. This is Pam with Fairfield After Dark. And this is Richard Lloyd. Cheers. <laughs>